All right, Legion. I had their IPA that I liked. I well, really, really, really liked that because uh, that one's pretty good. Uh, this time, it's their seasonal one. It's called Night Owl. Boom. It's a pumpkin spiced ale or pumpkin ale, so it might just be pumpkin, which there are a couple out there, so be careful. Make sure to read because without spice, it's a little bit more bold. It seems a very unfamiliar, but we eat pumpkin a lot, but we're always going to have spices in it, sugar, you know, things to help it, and then you're going to cook it. So having it straight up in a beer here, just adding the flavor of the pumpkin, it really is different. And so it's almost essentially raw. So we'll see if it has spices in it. Uh, making quality beers. I got a single one, give it a shot. It's the first time having it. Uh, did, their IPAs are phenomenal. They make Space Dust and what was the Tiger one called? Day Glow, that one was good. So this one looks a little bit more moderate. It's gonna be an ale, so ales. Brown ales, uh, stouts and porters are tend to be what people put pumpkin in, so. Very pumpkin-y. It almost smells like pumpkin pie, it's pretty solid. It seems like there's spices in it. Did it tell me? Oh, okay, so there's pumpkin, uh, pumpkin roasted, raw pumpkin seeds. Uh, there is nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, and I beat up the label a little bit. So there's a few things in there to make a whole Amazing flavor of pumpkin and pumpkin concept, so. Wow, tastes like autumn, like fall. It's almost, it reminds me more of like brown sugar and and leaves, that's crazy. <laughs> that's actually really solid. Good job, good job, Legion. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty damn good. That coming by surprise. It's uh, The body's a little medium, a little heavier, but the flavor's very light and delicate and like it smells very simple, but once you taste all the different things, like they really open up because you get the roastedness, but then you get the clean pumpkin, but then you get like the seeds because the, the seeds itself have a very distinct flavor. I grew up eating them, you roast them, you eat them. It was very common back in the day. Uh, Mexican food actually uses it all the time as a garnish. They're a little smaller. So that seed flavor is in there along with the nutmeg and a clove and all that. And so like it all keeps going back and forth. All right. It smells like warm cider. Yeah, it's like, yeah, um, it's very yeah. autumn-y. That's intense. All right. So once again, a great beer. Uh, this is one of my new, because I'm trying more pumpkin beers, so I got like top three now. Uh, oh my this is God. One of them. This is one of them. Now, this one moved up really fast, because I do love uh, Wick for Brains. Hands down, Wick for Brains is my number one. Uh, what's the other one that surprised me? I don't know. There's another one that moved up, but uh, Night Owl's really on the list now, so I got to write them down. All right, so if you're wondering if you haven't had it, uh, this will surprise the crap out of you. If I had a third thumb, I'd give it to you, but I know. <laughs> so if you're new, subscribe. Oh, there it is, finally. That's what Legion got. All right. Uh, uh, hopefully this helped you out. Um, it does have the spices on the side, so it's nice of them. Not everybody does that. They don't have to put them out. As long as I know what's in there, it really helps you understanding their flavor profile. So, oh, hi. I'm hands down amazing. I hope you get that one and try it before it's gone. Um, the single was like two bucks. I think it was like eleven dollars for the six pack. But obviously they have enough <coughs> ingredients in there where it, that's why it costs that much. And so don't don't be scared. If you need to get a single, get a single. If you get the six, you shouldn't be disappointed at all. So do have a great night. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I catch you soon.